everybody, I'm Blaze from Back and welcome to Seduce Me the Otome. The brick walls were framed by shrubbery and lovely flowers, giving it a homely and welcoming look, but in contrast, the tall doors in the house gave me a feeling of grandeur. Hoodoo was waiting for me, but I went back down this moment. I took out the key to the front doors and unlocked them. Well, I may as well make myself at home. I'll be staying here for quite a while anyways. Then I saw them. Lying on the floor was a group of men. They were all unconscious, but there was no explanation as to why they were there in the first place. I dropped my bags as to let the door close on its own behind me. Oh my god, what? Huh? huh? Who the heck are these guys? Why are they here? What's going on? Some of them had open wounds. The blood was staining the floor and the scent was intermingling in the air. How did they get in? I couldn't help but feel bad for them instinctively, but nevertheless I was shocked and a bit angry at the sudden intrusion. My mind suddenly went from caring and concerned to confused and demanding answers. Who are you guys? No response. Well, that's probably because they're unconscious. I'll call the police. Still nothing. None of them seemed to have walked to answer or respond to me. It seems surreal to have random strangers in the house I just moved into. I want answers quickly. That was until... Eep! Get away from me! Woman, you're going to let me kiss you. What? I couldn't believe it in myself, but with a mere blink of an eye, one of the men went from lying to the floor to being right in front of my face. What was even more of it, odd was the fact that I felt serene and calm about it. What? Why would I? He just said that you're. What? So, like, a desire burnt from my chest, telling me to accept his kiss, even when my mind vehemently refused. Uh, go ahead. No! I don't even know who the hell you are! Good. Screw off! Mm. Oh, Jesus. This is awkward. As he kissed me, I felt my body go weak. I didn't know why, but that kiss was draining me of my energy, and yet it was good and made my heart sing. It was a strange and tingling feeling that danced over every nerve of my body. I could feel streams of intangible and run up my body and my lips. What? It felt odd, but at the same time, it felt amazing. Sam, stop it. Yes, please stop it! Mm hmm? The person kissing me, Sam was his name, glanced behind them. I would have refused. I... Fine. Fine. Jeez. Finally, he pulled back, and I was left standing there in the daze. Yeah, I have no clue what the hell just happened. What? What? Uh. I couldn't tell what was going on. My mind was completely enwrapped by the kiss in my thoughts and melted into the depths of my forgotten memories. Oh my god, what the hell just happened? Please forgive my brother. He's a bit reckless. Brother, you have dark hair like me. How do you know we're not related? At least I feel a hell of a lot better than you right now. Jeez. Because you used your abilities on her. Ability? What? Sam, you're such a reckless brute. Taking advantage of a beautiful young woman like her. Uh... Shut that pretty boy mouth of yours before I rip it off your pretty boy face. Oh, jeez. This guy is kind of, uh... Jeez, you guys. Can we Aww. not right now? Not all of us are in the best state. True. I guess you are right, Matthew. <laughs> I agree. Hmm. Jeez, how many of you guys are there? However, as the man got up and started to chat freely, my thoughts began to reassemble and remembering confusion and anger once again, only now multiplied tenfold. What? What? Huh? Did you say something beautiful? Dude... And I exploded. <laughs> what is going on? Why the hell are you all here in my house? Why are you all wounded? Why did you kiss me? Who are you guys? <laughs> They're all taken aback by what I said. Hold on. I want to save this moment. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't help exploding, but after being taken advantage of and being left in a mush state, my words escaped without filter. I definitely scared the men around me, even the men who kissed me. <laughs> He looks the most surprised. <laughs> they all, well, okay, they all look surprised. Even Free Boy here. Wait a second. The guy who kissed me. Ouch! What's your problem? Wow! What's your problem? You can't just go around forcing people to kiss you like that. Are you some kind of pervert? Pervert? It was only a kiss. Oh, yeah, it could be copying a feel next time. It might mean nothing to you, but it means a lot to me. What? Was it your first kiss? Oh, screw off! 
Ow! Hey! Yeah, oh, I'm thing? hitting him! <laughs> I know first kisses aren't exactly amazing for all sparkles and selling out of a fairy tale, but I had least expected them to be more selling more than just selling forced. So it was your first kiss. Go to hell. making such a big deal out of it. I already, I already don't like this guy. Are you asking to get punched again? Hell, I even have friends. She could beat your ass. Well, your what do you ass. want me to do? It's not like I can somehow take it back. Well, you better not attempt to, sir. Ask for an apology. Should at least apologize. That would suffice. As he, as if to himself, he muttered something under his breath. Why do I always look like the bad guy? <sighs> Apologies aren't my forte. But I'll try my best. Yeah, that seems like the best, Hanka. Hmm? Okay, fine. I'm sorry. Sorry about what? I'm sorry for kissing you like that. I went too far. Yeah, and also unexpected. But it's also unexpected because you just suddenly popped out. Cause, did you? Did, never mind. He signed ran his fingers through his hair. <sighs> I think that suffice better than hitting him a third time. I didn't mean for it to turn out that way. It's just, I act on impulse, okay? Impulse? It's what? It's difficult to control myself in. Yeah. <sighs> what am I saying? What are you saying? I. That's what I want to know. It's okay. I get what you're trying to say. Do I? Do I really get what he's trying to say? Thank you for the apology. Okay, that's odd. I'll see you in the next part. See you there.